Welcome to the world of the 1966 TV series Batman, a show that left an indelible mark on the landscape of superhero entertainment. As we reflect on its legacy, one cannot help but ponder, is there a particular scene or moment in this TV series that has had a lasting impact on you? Whether it's the iconic Bat Signal, the dynamic duo's witty banter, or the colorful array of villains, Batman 66 holds a special place in the hearts of many. Now, let's dive into some random facts about this classic series. Airing at a time when superhero adaptations were still finding their footing, Batman brought the caped crusader and boy wonder to life in a way that was both campy and captivating. Starring Adam West as Batman and Burt Ward as Robin, the show struck a balance between action and humor, creating a unique and enduring appeal. Despite its seemingly lighthearted tone, the series was a trailblazer in its own right. The POW and BAM graphics during fight scenes became cultural phenomena, influencing the way action is portrayed in comics and on screen to this day. The show's impact wasn't limited to the small screen, it left an imprint on popular culture that continues to resonate. Now, as we reflect on this nostalgic journey, we're curious, is there a particular scene or moment in this TV series that has had a lasting impact on you? We'd love to hear your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Batman 66. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. And there you have it, a brief exploration into the world of Batman 66, a series that defied expectations and became a cultural touchstone. Whether you're a longtime fan or discovering the Caped Crusader's retro adventures for the first time, the magic of Batman 66 endures. In the 1966 TV series Batman, several villains featured in the show originated from Batman comics, but some had their roots in other hero stories. Notably, the Archer and the Puzzler were adversaries from Superman tales, while Clock King initially clashed with Green Arrow. In 1974, Yvonne Craig and Burt Ward reprised their roles as Batgirl and Robin, alongside William Dozier, the returning narrator, for a U.S. Department of Labor PSA advocating equal pay for women. Adam West, seeking distance from his Batman role, declined to participate, leading to Dick Gaudier taking on the role of Batman in the PSA. Adam West, the iconic Batman, shared insights into his relationships with fellow cast members in his autobiography. He formed close friendships with Frank Gorshin and Cliff Robertson, expressing admiration for Cesar Romero, Vincent Price, and Burgess Meredith. He described Alan Napier as reserved and found Neil Hamilton somewhat challenging to work with. These behind-the-scenes dynamics offer a glimpse into the personal and professional relationships that shaped the 1966 Batman series, adding layers to the iconic show's legacy. In two episodes of the 1966 Batman series, Catwoman seemed to meet her demise only to return later unscathed. This peculiar vanishing act isn't uncommon in the world of comics. The routine of characters apparently meeting their end, only to reappear unharmed, was notably a staple for the Joker in the comic books. This repetition of vanishing acts and miraculous reappearances was a recurring theme, lending an air of unpredictability to the show's narrative. The series often toyed with the audience's expectations, employing these cliffhangers as a way to keep viewers intrigued and guessing about the fate of their beloved characters. Madge Blake, portraying Aunt Harriet Cooper, faced unforeseen challenges during the third season of the Batman series. She encountered health issues, leading to her departure from the show. Her absence was tactfully managed within the storyline attributing her character's whereabouts to various overseas trips. Blake's declining health affected the production, culminating in her brief appearances in select episodes. Furthermore, budgetary constraints and difficulties in line delivery added to her departure. Despite these obstacles, her character's impact endured, albeit in reduced capacity during the final season. The challenges faced by Madge Blake shed light on the intricacies behind the scenes of the iconic show, highlighting the complexities encountered during production. Burt Ward, known for his portrayal of Robin in the 1966 Batman series, faced significant on-set dangers during filming. He disclosed being seriously injured due to ill-planned pyrotechnic effects. Ward recounted incidents where he was burned or struck by shrapnel, with one mishap leading to him being thrown out of the Batmobile during a high-speed turn when the door unexpectedly opened. 
These accidents shed light on the hazards faced by actors in bringing the superhero series to life. The perils experienced by Ward were among the many challenges encountered behind the scenes of the iconic show. Despite the on-screen heroics, the reality of filming often involved unforeseen dangers, emphasizing the risks involved in creating the beloved series. The hazards faced by Ward were just a fraction of the behind-the-scenes intricacies that shaped the production of the 1966 Batman series. The show, known for its campy style and iconic characters, brought to light not only the glamour of superhero storytelling but also the unforeseen risks and challenges that the actors grappled with during its filming. The Batmobile turntable in the Batcave wasn't powered. It took six crewmen off camera to manually push the car 180 degrees on the platform. Unlike what you might expect, many of the effects, including this scene, were shot just once and then inserted into various parts of the show as needed. This behind-the-scenes tidbit sheds light on the practical methods used to create the iconic visuals of the Batman series. The show, despite its flamboyant style, relied on ingenuity and simple, hands-on techniques to bring its fantastical world to life. Adam West, who portrayed the iconic Batman, was 37 years old when the series started. His portrayal of the caped crusader became etched in pop culture history. West's age, contrary to the youthful image of superheroes, didn't hinder his embodiment of the Dark Knight. His mature interpretation brought a unique charisma to the character, shaping the tone of the show. The 1966 TV series Batman captured the essence of comic book heroism. Amidst its colorful portrayal, it incorporated subtle complexities, epitomized by Leslie Gore's role. Gore, known for her billboard hit It's My Party, played one of Catwoman's pussycats, and briefly became a love interest for Robin in two episodes. Interestingly, she was also the niece of one of the show's producers, adding an intriguing layer to the series' casting and connections. Moreover, the show's enduring legacy extended beyond its initial run. Burt Ward reprised his role as Dick Grayson in Supergirl, Crisis on Infinite Earths, Part 1. This crossover episode firmly established the 1966 Batman series on Earth-66, a nod to the year of its premiere. This acknowledgement within the broader DC multiverse reaffirmed the series' significance and its lasting impact on superhero storytelling. These aspects, from Adam West's portrayal to the unique casting choices and its integration into the multiverse, showcase the enduring influence of the 1966 Batman series in shaping the superhero genre. As the iconic bat signal fades into the Gotham skyline, so too must our journey through the annals of the 1966 TV series, Batman, draw to a close. Yet, the legacy of this campy yet beloved rendition of the Caped Crusader lingers, leaving behind a trail of nostalgia and fond memories. In the technicolor world of Batman, the dynamic duo faced villains with equal parts wit and whimsy, offering a unique blend of action and humor that captivated audiences of all ages. The catchy theme song, The Pow and Bam, Graphics and the unforgettable performances by Adam West and Burt Ward as Batman and Robin made it a cultural phenomenon. Perhaps you found yourself glued to the screen, eagerly awaiting each new escapade of the crime-fighting duo. Or maybe it was the Batmobile, with its sleek design and gadgets galore, that sparked your imagination. Regardless of your connection, the series continues to be a symbol of simpler times and unbridled fun. Now, take a moment to delve into the Batcave of your memories. What made this rendition of Batman special for you? Was it the colorful villains, the humorous dialogue, or the undeniable charm of its retro aesthetic? Share your favorite moments, relive those scenes that left an indelible mark on your bad heart, and let the nostalgia flow. Your personal connection to Batman 66 adds another layer to its enduring legacy. So, whether you're a seasoned fan or a newcomer exploring the retro charm, your thoughts and memories enrich the Batverse for all. Thank you for accompanying me on this nostalgic trip down Gotham's memory lane. Your time and passion for the Caped Crusader are truly appreciated.